Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm going to be performing Canwich by David Jonathan, which we looked at on a review show special a few weeks ago. You can go check that out. Uh, Canwich is a combination of sandwich plot and a card at any number plot. And it's very, very cool. Now, here's the brilliant thing. You can actually get this for free from David Jonathan. If you go onto his site and you register for his newsletter, he'll send you a link to learn this for free. It's a great trick with a uh, kind of regular deck of cards that you can do anytime, anywhere. I'm going to perform it for you right now. Um, so I have Sarah behind the camera. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Hey. So I've got 52 playing cards here, right? Okay. And we're going to try and do something absolutely incredible. Now, do you know that in a deck of cards, every single card has like um, a perfect mate? Right. So like the king of diamonds perfect mate would be the king of hearts. When you, when you think about a mate, it's a, it's a card that's uh, exactly the same, but it's got the same, uh, it's, it's exactly the same in color and in value, but it's just, it's just different. So king of hearts would be king of diamonds, ace of spades would be ace of clubs, you get the idea. Yeah? Yeah. We are going to, from a shuffled deck of cards, find any card. And it's your choice, so uh, I'm going to go down through the deck, and as I do, any time you want to, just say stop. Mm, stop. Right there, you sure? Let's yeah. have a look at the card that you stopped at. You stopped at the Four of Clubs. So the perfect mate for the Four of Clubs would be what? Uh... Four of spades. Very good. You're paying attention. This is excellent. So here's the thing. You're going to find a four of spades, and we're going to find it in a very unique way. You're going to put the card somewhere into the middle of the deck, and it's up to you where you put it. Now, wherever you put that card, we're going to take the card above this four of clubs and below this four of clubs, and we're going to add the value of those two cards together. So if you put this card in between two aces, we'd add one and one, and that would be two. And that is going to help us find the perfect mate to the four of clubs. Now, you're behind the camera, so I'll, I'll just riffle down the deck. Just say stop. Stop. Now, do you want it there? It's really important. One of the key strengths of this trick is the spectator can put that card anywhere into the back they want to. You know about magic. I don't want you to think because I was riffling down the deck, I was doing some sort of riffle force. That's not the case. If you want to come in front of the camera, you can put it wherever you want to. I want you to understand that's a free choice. Do you want to keep it there or do you want to move it? Or oh, okay. Yeah. Are, you, are you happy? Yeah. Okay. So you put it right there uh, in between these two cards, which I'm going to take and pop on the table like that. Is that fair? Okay. So we're gonna have a look at the two cards that you put it right next to. You put it next to this one, you put it next to an eight of hearts, and you put it next to an ace of spades. That's eight and one, which is nine. nine yeah. Now think about the impossibility here. You could have put it anywhere you want to. The deck was shuffled. You genuinely could have put it anywhere you want to. You put it in between these two cards. You put it one position left, that would have been a completely different number. And anyway, you're the one that picked this card. You could have picked any one of the 52 cards in the deck. Right. But we're going to count down nine cards, and I want you to watch, watch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one here is the ninth card. One more time. The mate of the four of clubs would be what? The four of spades. And I have no idea how you did that. Oh, I mean, isn't that crazy? I mean, it's all you. It's not me. It's all you. It's all you and a little bit of David Jonathan. Guys, that is uh, Canwich. You can get it for free from his site. Just go to davidjonathanmagic.com uh, and subscribe to his newsletter and you get a link to learn this for free. Uh, it's an amazing trick. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and I'm going to be back again at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you again.